Hey Tubies, it's Lord Bob here. Well, I'm sitting here studying the beautiful mystical purple cord. This is the sacred symbol of the Wiccan order that I run called the Order of the Purple Cord. For those of you who have been here a while, you know about this, but for those of you who are new, the Order of the Purple Cord is a group of solitary Wiccans. We're all over the world and we unite through our online connection to connect with fellow Wiccans. Um, many people live in areas where they don't have access to Wiccan covens or teachings or friends. And so I created the Order of the Purple Cord, what's been about two years ago now, to have a way to unite us. And all of us in the Order have within our possession a cord that we make. You can see I wove this one out of yarn. And the Purple Cord is worn as a necklace or as a belt, a cincture. Uh, by members of the order when we gather to signify our unity. So it's like all the links and knots of the cord are all of us bound together. And the purple is the, is the ancient color of power and, and mystery and magic. So this is why we call it this. Well, um, as many of you know, you've been here, Lady Angela McAllister is our high priestess of the order of the purple cord. And Lord Tony Paulson is our high priest of the um, Order of Horus. He is the, the Grand Master of the Knights of Horus and the Guardian, Lord Guardian of the Order. So we have uh, various members, we are the Council, and it's my pleasure today to come to you to announce that we have a new member of the Governing Council of the Order of the Purple Cord. Um, we have a new member. Her name is Lady Ryla. And I'm going to have some pictures. Actually, I don't have a picture today, but I'll get it up here in the next few days while I have a picture. Lady Ryla, who you can see over on Facebook, I'm going to put a link below to her page. Uh, Lady Ryla is uh, our new priestess of the Order of the Sacred Flame. Um, it's traditional within many pagan faiths to have a sacred flame that is kept to honor the god or the goddess. And there are many ancient traditions of this. In ancient Rome, they had the flame of the goddess Vesta, and the sacred flame was kept in its own temple and attended by the Vestal priestesses. Um, in Ireland, they have the flame of the goddess Brigid, and that's very sacred as well. And uh, today, now Catholic nuns tend the flame, but it used to be pagan priestesses. But the fact is, the goddess Vesta, her flame still goes. Also in ancient Rome, there was also a sacred flame kept to the goddess Minerva, and it was said to be a golden lamp that glowed with fire. And so this tradition of having an altar with the sacred flame to honor the divine is very ancient. Uh, and so even actually, you know, I was just thinking today, even in the ancient Hebraic religion in ancient Israel, uh, in the tabernacle, they kept the lampstand with seven candlesticks on it that were lit the sacred flame, the presence of God. And so this is thousands of years old. Well, when I was forming the Order of the Purple Cord, I decided that we should also have a sacred flame. And so Lady Ryla, uh, again, her Facebook link is below so you can meet her and greet her. Um, has accepted our offer to join the council as priestess of the sacred flame. And we're very honored by her willingness to join and to serve. As the priestess of the sacred flame, she is going to literally every day keep a flame burning on her altar and offer prayers for the well being of the members of the order. So if you have a need, a challenge in your life, you need a prayer, Lady uh, Ryla will be able to bring your petitions before the sacred flame and offer it. 
So this is something that we're going to have now as part of the order. And we're so thankful for her willingness to serve. Um, we've known Ryla for a few years, uh, Lady Angela and I, and we decided that we needed to bring her onto the council. Her gifts are many. She has many year history of spiritual work, comes from a lineage of Wiccans, and uh, has done great acts of spiritual work throughout many years. So we feel she's very qualified for the position. And when we approached her and said, we need a priestess of the flame, would you consider being on our council? Uh, Lady Rilo is very honored and very excited to do it. And we were very excited to have her. So today I'm going to just do a brief ritual at my altar to the sacred flame. Um, I have a, an altar here. Actually, it's dedicated to the goddess Vesta. I have a personal devotion to Vesta. And so I keep a flame to Vesta. But the truth is the flame can be to any goddess. Um, you know, and so whether you offer your flame to Vesta or to Isis or to Diana or to Artemis, whoever you offer your flame to, Hecate, Kali, doesn't matter. But the tradition of the flame, as I said, is an ancient one and one I think is most noble and sacred. So I invite you now to come to my altar to the sacred flame as I give uh, a dedication and ask a blessing on Lady Ryla. Come on along. And as you can see here, veiled before us with a flame in his, her hands is the goddess Vesta. As we zoom out, you can see before her the sacred flame that I always burn here on my altar to the goddess. It's tradition for those who serve the goddess Vesta, whether male or female, to be veiled. And so today I am wearing my purple veil in order to honor the great goddess. And so taking my incense stick, I light it in the sacred flame and I offer to the goddess this offering. Great Goddess, receive this incense. May it be a sign of blessing. And may our prayers rise with it to thee. So mote it be. I'm lighting now this candle. And I dedicate this flame and this candle to Lady Ryla and her service. Great Goddess Vesta, Great Goddess Mother, I ask that this flame be received by you as a sign of the dedication and service of Lady Ryla. With the tying of this purple cord, I dedicate her to your service now, Mother, that she may honor the Great Mother and the work of the Order of the Purple Cord by the power of the Sacred Flame. And so before you now, Mother, I offer this candle and cord for Lady Ryla as a sign of her dedication to the service of the purple cord and the service of your sacred flame. May you watch over her, bless her, and protect her. May her works show your wisdom and guide the sacred work of our sacred order. So mote it be. Great Goddess, I dedicate now Lady Ryla in her devotion and service, and I thank you for the gift of her presence and the presence of your ever-guiding and protective flame. So mote it be. So mote it be. Well, Tubies, I tell you, it's so special to be able to welcome a new member of the governing council of the Order of the Purple Cord. And uh, as I mentioned in that video, which I forgot to tell you about earlier, it is traditional that whoever serves the sacred flame wear a veil. So this is why I'm draped here in this purple veil. Um, it's the tradition of honoring the goddess 
whether male or female. Actually, in ancient Rome, many of the priests would wear veils in their service. So um, like the priests of Jupiter wore purple veils. Um, the, actually, the traditional color for Vesta was white. But, um, you know, I'm not a fundamentalist. So um, I wear purple because of the order of the purple court. So I'm wearing this purple veil to honor the goddess of the flame. And um, if Lady Ryla so chooses, she may also wear a veil. You know, I like to tell people I'm not dictatorial. We're not a fundamentalist group. And so you have to do this. It is just tradition. It's their tradition to wear the veil. So Lady Ryla, I invite you to explore wearing the veil also as you work with the, pre with the goddess of the sacred flame and uh, see if it helps you in your devotion and connection. You guys are the best. Listen, thank you for being here. It's a very special Wiccan Wednesday. And uh, if you want to uh, learn a little more about the Order of the Purple Court, I'll put a little uh, commercial here at the end. So keep watching. We'll have a little clip here for those of you who are interested in joining. Uh, to join the Order is absolutely free. All you need to do is send an email to me at my website at uh, www.robert-hickman.com. Actually, write to me at readings at robert-hickman.com. But you can also read about the order of the Purple Court at www.robert-hickman.com. And as I said, we'll have a little clip here as well, but definitely check out my website. And if you want to join the order, as I said, it's free. The only thing we ask is that you send an email stating your name, your intent to join the order, uh, and also agree to honor the Wiccan read. We don't do black magic or curses. And we ask that you make your own sacred purple cord, similar to one I showed at the beginning of this video, to where there's a necklace or a cincture or even as a bracelet. The cord is a sign of your commitment to join in unity with us. Well, guys, thanks for being here. I love you. I send you my blessings and let's all send a big congratulations to Lady Ryla. Um, again, I'm putting her Facebook link below. Go over there, tell her congratulations on her ascension to the office of Priestess of the Sacred Flame. Thanks for being here. Thank you, Lady Ryla, for your service. I'm looking forward to working with you. We're going to have more about the Order of the Purple Court guys in the coming weeks. Uh, we're working on some new initiatives and projects to really get that going in a bigger way. And so definitely be here. Keep watching. We'll have more for you. I love you guys. We'll see you back here soon. And until then, may you always blessed be.